All right, guys, here we are spectating Andrian Koss. <laughs> Facebook versus TTV. Stop the violence, brother. Look how many people are just slow floating, too. He was clearly AFK, but <laughs> can't do that, bro. The game just started. What do you, what, what do you, what did you have to do? What did you physically have to do that was so important right when you started the game? All right, good job catching the enemy out in the open. So far, we've got a pretty accurate player. A little dangerous on that fight right there, but if we ended up winning it, we got to push this fast. Another enemy on top of us. Oh, dude, he focused on the loot instead of the guy. Now, granted, I'll be honest, I would have pushed for that kill too. But again, dude, when you're pushing an area like this, you've got to be aware of everything around you, especially these tall tiers. And because he decided to go for loot instead of focusing on the task at hand, you know, winning and fighting, he ended up getting clapped from the top. That's unfortunate, dude. Ain't no amount of reaction time is going to save you from that bad decision. And here we have Major Moose rocking four kills, sitting. Accuracy not that good. We have a player with great, great job with a thermite, honestly. I thought he stuck us. Um, but that's unfortunate for him, too, man. Major Moose is kind of playing the area right now. Not really wanting to move around. Look at this. This, this is what I mean, bro. This is what I mean right here. People are so afraid to actually move around. It, it's, it's fucking confusing. It really just messes with my emotions. What do y'all think, man? Do y'all think this is normal? Do y'all think I should start being nice to people like this? And again, dude, play how you want. If you're having fun, hell yeah. But this video isn't for people that just want to have fun. These videos are for people that want to get better. And this is not a way to get better. You've got to you've got to work on the entire art of of battle royales, especially Warzone. You got to work on movement. You got to work on accuracy. You got to work on fighting. You got to work on positioning. You got to work on so many things that crouch walking and waiting for enemies to come isn't going to give you. You will get lucky. You will win some games. You will get good kills, and you probably will have a decent KD. But, unfortunately for these players, and for those of you out there that do this, this is how you will forever play until you finally say, you know what, enough is enough. I'm going to get out there. And I know this firsthand because I used to play like this too many moons ago when Battle Royales first came out. I played scared, I played passive, um, and I realized after a year of playing like that that I wasn't getting any better, and I wanted to be better. So I started getting aggressive, man. Any game, it doesn't matter. PUBG, Warzone, Fortnite, Apex, H1Z1, you name it, bro. You can be aggro in it. Like this, for instance, right here, we have a guy that landed towards the rooftop. I'm pretty sure he's dead by now, but people were shooting at him too. And instead of trying to find this guy and help in killing him and also kill the guy shooting at him, here we are. And never mind, the guy didn't die. He's still alive, but we we're able to bow him to death. Again, pure luck on that one right there for sure. But he ended up getting the kill, man. But look, dude, if people are shooting around you, you need to look in that direction because you could possibly capitalize on those kills. That player would have already been dead, and we probably could have clapped the two guys that were shooting at him from the tower, as well as, I think it was Chemical as well. Enemies on us right now. Here we are, frozen, solid, terrified. People are just playing with our emotions right now. We're going to hold this doorway, watch this loot, because we think the enemy is going back for it. And he might. There he is. Oh, trying to go for the mount. Are we able to get it? No, we're not. Look at the panic melee and the panic mount. He really just panicked in that situation. Again, dude, a little bit of practice, a little bit of uh, IQ right there. Gameplay IQ, I should say. Would have helped him win that fight. And Curtis, not the best player in the world. He's got two kills right now as well. But here we are. But here we are. Same situation though, man. You got to get out there. You don't need this shit. Let's go get some kills, man. Oh, the heartbeat. The heartbeat. You know what's crazy, guys? People always use the heartbeat. Um, But you never see any pros out there using the heartbeat. They've got a few good players that do. But I'd say 90% of players in the 3KD and above category don't touch the heartbeat sensor. So if your better players aren't using it, why do these guys? And the heartbeat's a good tool. If you're a good player and you want to use it, I'm not talking shit, bro. The heartbeat is a great tool. But players like this that need to work on observation shouldn't rely on a tool that tells them where enemies are at. The reason why people have such a hard time 
spotting enemies in Caldera and spotting enemies in here is because they're just used to seeing a little blip. Not to mention, we have money for a UAV as well. I actually probably get a self-res, but again, he's just oblivious right now, just focusing on whatever he wants to focus on. We're in a bad spot. We've got prison looking right at us. We've got tower and we got chemical engineering. So this could be an easy clap fest if people happen to be in this spot. Oh, we've got three spectators. People are getting a little cranky. Wonder how many times I've been reported for heart for uh, cheating. Hopefully not. Reported for heart beating. That's all the thing. All right, the, right there, dude. Look at that fight. Look at that fight. He heartbeated the guy in there. We knew he was in there. And instead of pushing in there, getting aggressive and going for the kill, we separate ourselves from the wall, which is our cover. Um, to do God knows what he was trying to do, work himself back out of the zone. Who knows? And then we got killed by this guy rocking nine kills, holding the high ground. Got on top of our roof, I believe. Now, every rooftop should have multiple ladders accessing it. That way, there's multiple ways to get up. Great job, great job, great job. You see him? He was right there. There he is. Bye-bye, courtesy. Sit down. Sit down, bro. Oh, he's lagging. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mom, stop watching Pornhub, bro. We're trying to play the game. Get off the internet, ma. Is there a guy on top of the tower? No, that's the chimney or some shit. We've got a level 3 bounty on us. We've got 10 kills, dude. There's a guy under the tower right here. This is your moment. You got a high ground. This is your position. So go ahead ooh, and play it, dude. Whip out your other gun. Get some shots off. He's out in the open. There's no reason to try to throw this game to get some shots off. He has four opportunities. Switch. I, I like it. Now, we'll say... Oh, 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 oh. Now, we'll say... um. As far as his loadout, he doesn't have a close range weapon, which is really risky. I mean, this fight right here could have been bad. Fortunately for us, we played this little cover a little bit, a little well, and the enemy missed a few shots. Um, but normally, dude, I recommend an SMG because you're going to be close quarter a lot. However, we're saying that, dude. Notice how this player's playing. He's trying to keep his distance. He's trying to play range. He doesn't want to get close. Oh, he maybe he does. A little bit of movement to capitalize on that guy crouched. Again, dude, notice the difference in play, play styles. You're sitting in a corner crouching, ADSing at a doorway, and a player comes through and just does some simple D-hopping. You're dead. He's trying to stealth his way up there, but then he was just... <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Great job rerouting. Come up a whole other angle. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, this guy will probably get the self-res up before we get to him, but it's okay. Because he's one tap. Boom. The reason I'm saying that is because most people in that situation will just play that angle. They'll just sit there and hold it, wait for him to self-res, and then repeat. But people that play passively and hold that angle... There's a really good chance. Oh my god, look at that. There's a really good chance that he's gonna be plated up and ready to fight later on. Oh, this is this is easy claps, bro. He's below you. He's below you. He's not on this level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fortunately we wasted uh We wasted a little ping. How many times can he hit that? Can he hit it again? If he can hit it again, now's the time to do it. He does have a gas mask, which is awesome. Going to the rooftop, watching for him. Now, he could run through the tunnel, so when you check the tunnel corridor real fast, never mind. He's not doing it. What? Why? Why? Again, predicting enemy rotation is very important. I, I don't know if you can hit that button again, but I definitely would hit it. There's the tunnel right there. Enemy could be slow playing the gas as well, so we got to be careful. Jumping down. Um, yeah, I would have stayed on the high ground on that one. That was fucking weird. Look at this. Look. The building's still safe. It's literally rotating with the building. The fact we jumped down is nuts to me, bro. Because literally, if he was in the building, if he went through the tunnel, went in that other building all the way across, he had to come out in the open and get safe in the next zone. If he was under us. He had to come up the staircase to get safe in the next zone. But he full sent it. 
I love full sending, and I'm trying to get you guys to get out there and get aggressive. But in game like that, bro, you got to play position. You got to play strategy. You got to flip flop it. Don't play passive in the beginning. Play aggressive. At the end, don't play aggressive. Play passive aggressive. Just really depending on your positioning and how the circle rotates. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe today. But until next time, guys, you have a good one.